Hello and welcome to the Personal Innovation Podcast with me, Eric Seyram. Brought to you by personalinnovationhub.com, the platform that ignites your dreams, passions, careers and impact. This podcast is committed to getting you to think bigger about who you are, what you do and how you can impact the world in a unique way. I am stoked as always to have you at the listening side. In this episode, we are talking about why you need to work on your self-esteem in building a strong personal brand. But it's important to note that having high self-esteem is not about being arrogant or bragging about what you have and your achievements, but it is taking stock of what kind of person you are in life. Self-esteem also does not shield you from low self-confidence, uneasiness, and fear. It simply makes it easier to stand up and handle problems. High self-esteem gives you a sense of control over life. It helps you to know that your body, your mind and feelings do not belong to others and that you do not live up to other people's wishes or expectations. Self-esteem that therefore allows you to set reasonable expectations for yourself and to pursue your goals. People with high self-esteem are usually found to be happy and confident. They may be pleased with their abilities, skills and achievements. They are also cordial, friendly and show respect for other people's views. Such people are also highly encouraged and have the right attitude to succeed in their activities. For example, a person with a high self-esteem may say, I can do, I can have and I can make my life what I want it or I desire it to be. People with high self-esteem are also able to accept responsibility for their actions and everything that happens in their lives. If things are not going on well for them, they ask what am I going to do to change this situation? They do not resort to shifting the blame or using others as scapegoats for their failures and problems. For example, a student with a low self-esteem receives low marks in class tests. He might think he's stupid, while another student with a high esteem who receives the same mark might say, I need to study harder for the next test. Self-esteem is an important feature of every individual because it influences and sometimes even determines success in what we do. People with high self-esteem can do better in life and find it easier to make friends. It also helps a person to feel satisfied and have a positive or successful relationship with other people, family, and peers. A person with high self-esteem may, may do the right thing even if exposed to the wrong set of people. Such a person has high regard for himself and may not follow what other people are doing because he knows what is right from wrong. High self-esteem protects people, particularly young, from exposure to a wide range of social evils. These include abuse of drugs, crimes, and unsafe sexual practices. A child's self-esteem affects how he sees and reacts to situations. For example, if a child with a healthy self-esteem asks a friend to play and the friend says no, he might think, okay, he just doesn't want to play and say, now I would ask someone else to play with me. On the other hand, a child with a an unhealthy self-esteem might interpret the situation differently and say he just hates me and doesn't want to play with me. Today, if these characteristics of high self-esteem are absent in your life, it was due to many factors in your past. You have not been encouraged by yourself and others to stand up and fight again when you mistakenly did something wrong or failed. You do not praise yourself or are not praised by others for your efforts. You are not privileged enough to receive attention, hugs, commendation, gifts from parents, family, friends, and work colleagues upon a success. You have never experienced success in sports, academics, relationship, and other social activities. People around you do not dare to encourage you to try new things. People around you do not speak to you respectfully but are always abusive. You do not trust people around you, not even your family, friends, work colleagues and leaders. You are not offered the appropriate level of support and listening ear from home, school, community or workplace. 
you are not given responsibility appropriate to your age and abilities if any responsibilities are given at all you are abused exploited and misused you do not receive any appropriate and constant guidance monitoring and evaluation at home school or workplace and this was all in your past this results in what is termed low self-esteem which is the belief that you have of yourself that you are of no value and feel unwanted it is therefore an overall doubtful and negative view of yourself people with le- low self-esteem may feel as if no one likes or accepts them or that they can do well in anything a person with low self-esteem may blame himself for things or problems that are not his fault such a person may undervalue his abilities as well as expecting things to go wrong always these are some statements that people with low self-esteem are likely to make people don't like me i can't do anything right i am ugly people don't listen to me i'm always saying stupid things i always make the wrong decisions why my life is a mess and i can't do anything about it you see this causes a wide range of unwanted behaviors from crime and drug addiction to educational failure so now i'll list for you descriptions of effects on people found to exhibit low self-esteem and they include self-dissatisfaction worry and depression weak academic and job performance lack of self-control fear and lack of self-confidence problems in relationships the struggle for excellence exposure to drug and alcohol abuses ignite your personal brand power work on cultivating a high sense of self-esteem today and you will be on your way to building a strong unique selling personal brand this has been your motivational personal innovation podcast with me eric serum brought to you by personalinnovationhub.com Subscribe to download and listen to the Personal Innovation Podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn, and other podcasting platforms because there's more to come. Subscribe to receive regular updates from www.personalinnovationhub.com. Follow me on Twitter at Sir Eric Serum A and on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Personal Innovation Hub. Remember to leave your comments below. Rate and review the show on iTunes and share this episode with friends who need to hear it. Sharing, they say, is caring. Stand out and shine to the world. Don't wanna hear them say you lose.